What's up ladies and gentlemen of YouTube again, this is Jose Ortiz from PetRockMedia.com and today I'm going to give you my top gaming gift ideas for the Xbox One X or S owner in your life. Let's check it out. Okay guys, so for those of you out there, the holiday season is coming around. For those of you who are looking for either some last minute gifts or just some general gift ideas for that gamer person in your life, I can scarcely think of a better system to support than the Xbox One X. Specifically, this one is the Scorpio edition. Now, having been born in November and personally being a Scorpio, I had a kind of special attachment to this as funny and goofy and nerdy as that sounds. But I did pick up the Scorpio edition Xbox One X. Um, you can tell, or as you can see, it's kind of throwing back. You can see the X right there to the original Xbox system. And this has already been unboxed and has been played uh, for hours upon end. But if you're looking for a system to get to that gamer, a special gamer in your life, something for this holiday season, you could scarcely think of one better than the Xbox One X. If you could find a Scorpio edition, that'd be awesome. But if not, an Xbox One X still essentially has the same insides. This one just has particular boot ups, a uh, very special edition controller, and really a nice looking paint job on the outside. Moving on. As you start playing and playing and playing, you're gonna need some juice for those controllers. So I could scarcely also think of something else than a charging station. Now specifically, this one charges two controllers as well as a pair of headphones, as you can see there in the back. Now I did an unboxing and first kind of impressions reviews of this on this channel. So if you want, I'll link that in the description below. You can go ahead and check that out. This is from a company called Power A and it's for Xbox One S or X controllers. So as you can see right there on the cover, it's also sporting the Xbox uh, Pro Elite controller, which I'm gonna get to here in a bit. But it allows you to charge two controllers simultaneously, as well as a pair of headphones in the back there. Coffee break. All right, so moving on. Next, the controller that was shown on the charging dock. This is the Xbox Pro Elite wireless controller. This thing, if the person you're trying to buy for is in love with first person shooters, so Call of Duty, Destiny, Halo, any of the Halo Master Chief collection, anything like that, this controller is almost a must. Everything in here is practically customizable from this D-pad to the shifter buttons on the bottom. That orange dot right there is actually the battery that comes with the charger, so you will see orange there and there. Overall, this thing looks and feels premium. It is awesome. It's amazing. I would highly, highly recommend this thing for that gamer or special someone in your life. The buttons have a very, very good feel. Everything is blacked out. This whole black and silver, black and gray. The bottom of the controller has a very nice grippy feel to it. Overall, this controller is a beast. Now, it does come in pretty pricey at 149 bucks. However, I got mine as an open box at Target. On top of being a red card member, I paid under $100 for this controller. So if you can find a deal out there or a steal, definitely, definitely do so. Now, an honorable mention, I know we talked about this being geared towards the Xbox One S or X owner, or if you're looking to buy a system for somebody. I, though, want to bring up this bad boy right here. The new 3DS XL Amazon exclusive, the Super Nintendo skinned edition. I haven't been a gamer at heart since I was a little bitty lad. This thing right here really, really took me back because of the paint design that it has. It looks so awesome. The box does not do it justice. It really, once you get your hands on it, really feels awesome. The paint could have been a little bit better, could have had a little bit more feel, a little bit more tactile feel to it. But nonetheless, it does come with a game also. If I can get that to focus right there, it does come with a copy of Super Mario Kart. Now that's the Super Mario Kart for the Super Nintendo. This is not Mario Kart 7 or anything like that. This is the one that was released in the 90s. But you're buying this thing because it looks like a Super Nintendo. That is why they give you the Super Nintendo download code for free. Again, honorable mention, highly, highly recommend you pick this up. Goes for $200 on Amazon. 
definitely, definitely worth picking up this holiday season. Stop the video right there. I completely forgot to mention a pair of headphones. Any gamer out there worth its salt will know that a good quality pair of headphones will make or break your gaming sessions. The ones that I'm rocking right now are the Astro A50s. You can see right there, this is a wireless option for gaming headphones. Not the cheapest, they could run upwards up to $300. However, sometimes Best Buy does run a deal. I know for Black Friday they were selling the updated models. These are about four or five years old. Still running strong, that's a testament to the build quality. So just the overall quality and feel of these headphones <clears throat> lasted forever. Battery still charges. I highly recommend the Astro A50s. I also have played with Turtle Beach headphones. Those went out before these did, but Turtle Beach did sound great as well. But once again, a good quality pair of headphones is a must for any gamer out there or that gamer in your life. Check it out. Check out the Astro A50s. Now on to your regularly scheduled program. And lastly, what would a system be without games? Now these are some games that I picked up recently during either the Black Friday sale, Cyber Monday, or in this fall season. Fall is an amazing time for gamers. All you gamers out there know the fall Christmas season is amazing for games. One of the hot ones that came out was Call of Duty World War II. Game that's been out for a while, but I was finally able to pick up Overwatch, played a little bit of it. This game is awesome, by the way. Now I know why it's won so many awards. Having been a huge Assassin's Creed fan, picked up Assassin's Creed Origins. This game is pretty, pretty sweet. Definitely recommend picking it up. If you're an Assassin's Creed fan, if you're just a gamer and a gaming fan, this is definitely one worth picking up. Titanfall 2, I picked it up. I really feel like Titanfall was not marketed, the original one. Wasn't really marketed properly. Um, had some downfall in its sales. Picked this up on Black Friday for 15 bucks at Best Buy. Definitely, definitely, I think, a much better game than the first one but still it's a game that you it has an acquired taste to it but i really think this one's the better of the two definitely pick this game up definitely well worth it even if you don't get it for a deal of 15 bucks i would highly recommend spending 20 25 even 30 dollars for this game is a good price in my opinion shadow of war middle earth shadow of war from the middle earth collection shadow of mordor was released a few years back this is the follow-up to it have not had a chance to play this game yet but from what i've seen what i've read definitely definitely one worth picking up now one of my personal favorites wolfenstein 2 having played through and beat wolfenstein 1 i'm definitely interested in continuing that saga and that story definitely worth picking up and of course if you're a gamer especially if you're a sports fan it would not be complete without madden this game i have been playing almost since it first came out with the original madden however I buy Madden every single year. It's just something to me. I have to have to get it, play through the season, play through the schedule that my teams play through, and then just enjoy it until the next one drops. Best Buy has a great deal that they do almost every year, where if you trade this in, you get up to $25 worth of Best Buy dollars and a gift card that you can utilize towards this game. So this game usually comes out to about 15, 20 bucks for me every year. Not a bad deal to keep up with the gaming franchise. So once again, guys, those are my recommendations and those are some things that I would recommend you getting for that gamer in your life. If you're looking to dive into a system, I also personally own the PS4. I don't have a PS4 Pro yet, but I do have a PS4, I have an Xbox One and an Xbox One S and an Xbox One X. So you can kind of see where my fandom lies, but I still have those systems as well. What I don't have right now in front of me is the Nintendo Switch. I also own that one as well. Amazing, amazing systems, and I'm going to do a video kind of comparing all those three systems to kind of give you the best information so you can make that best decision on which system to buy. So once again, guys, this is Jose Ortiz from PetRockMedia.com. Leave me any questions down below. Give me a thumbs up, subs if you loved it. Peace out.